June twentieth, Tuesday. Two thousand and seventeen. I'm doing something on my phone right now, so
lessons from disappointment too. Let me know that we're proud of them, simply for trying. You need to focus on having the skills of improving rather than winning itself. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
testing while Dr. Burke maps the brain. I'm a bitch. What? I'm a knee. <coughs> Left or right? Left. Okay, Mark. Name the month of the year. January, February, March, April. Ah, that's it.
oh. married guy, I guess. Yeah, damn right. You were married for another 32 years before she passed. Yeah, but don't you worry, because if I can be honest, like you always take a little bit of Oh, Transcribe Grandpa Tom's journal entry from the leaf day of 1952. I feel the need to add a bit of a disclaimer. The official military record of this incident attributed to the deaths of 54 soldiers to an explosive malfunction. The report seems almost intentionally vague. Still, given this, I might have been inclined to doubt my grandfather's version of the events until I spoke to other surviving members of this battalion at his funeral. Their stories corroborated with his, some even volunteering details from his journal that I hadn't mentioned to them. This, combined with my grandfather's lifelong displays of honesty and sanity, lead me to believe that the official record is for some reason incorrect. I am almost certain that the following events happened exactly the way my Grandpa Tom said. February 29th, 1952. We are no longer on our march. In fact, tomorrow morning, I will be headed back to the States. Or so they tell me. Right now, I am writing from a military hospital bed somewhere in Korea. I don't know where exactly. I have been injured, but not too badly, an account of which follows. Yesterday, things happened that I feel ill-equipped.